Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 9 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on how to update your BIOS. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 9 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. Uh, this video is going to be pretty simple and uh, pretty self-explanatory. We're going to show you how to update your BIOS. All that you're going to need is a USB drive, and we're going to show you how to uh, basically make it a bootable drive and install the latest BIOS from HPE support. And we're going to show you step-by-step step, step step instructions on how to do it all. Let's get going. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm going to be showing you how to update your BIOS. This is going to be a pretty straightforward video, so if you just follow the steps that are going to be in this video, um, you will have no issue. The first thing you're going to want to do is download the BIOS update from support.hpe.com. We will go ahead and provide a link in the description below um, with that BIOS update file. Once you've downloaded that file, you just want to move it over to a USB flash drive. And once the file is on a USB drive, you are all good to eject it and plug it into your server. And we can go ahead and begin. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and boot up our server. And then once prompted, we want to go ahead and press F9 during post so we can go into system utilities. Once we're in system utilities, we want to go ahead and press embedded applications. Next, we want to go to firmware update and then system ROM. Once we're in system ROM, we want to click on select a firmware file. And in here we can see the USB drive that we have inserted into our server. So next you just want to actually select the storage device that the BIOS update file is on. And then once you've selected a device, um, it'll display the file itself and we just want to go ahead and select the file. Once we've selected the file, it'll take us back to firmware updates. And in firmware updates, we want to go ahead and scroll down and click on start firmware update. We'll get a little progress bar right here. So this may take a little bit of time. So we're just going to wait it through and we'll go ahead and fast forward. Once it's reached 100%, it'll say firmware update completed successfully. We're going to go ahead and back out and then we are going to reboot the server. And there we have it. We have successfully updated the BIOS on our server. Like I said at the beginning of the video, very easy to do, very simple. If you just follow along with the steps in this video, you will have no issue at all. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it down below in a comment. And if you're interested in purchasing any servers from us, uh, we got HP, Dell, Supermicro, Cisco, IBM. We got everything you can think of. So feel free to hit us up at sales at cloudninjas.com. That is sales at cloudninjas.com. Take care, guys.